Welcome to another episode of Bucketless Coach Web Show Live. Well, hello, this is Cindy Lee, your host over at Bucketless Coach Web Show Live, co host. Amy, Amy from National, National Day, Day Calendar. Calendar, and I'll introduce you to my guest in just one minute. So a little bit about the show. So we have the day that we're born and the day that we pass away. That is called the dash. So in just one minute, I'm going to introduce you to my guest. But first off, go to TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And for a five-night hotel stay, we're talking Hawaii, Mexico, Port of Arda, oh my God, Cabo, so many different destinations. We have hundreds and hundreds of destinations. So this is how you're going to win your five-night hotel stay. You're going to go to Buckless Coach Web Show Live at wherecindynow.com on YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube. Comment on this very video. Share this very video either on Facebook or LinkedIn, and I'll give you a five-night hotel stay. So I cover the hotel. You cover the tax. It's around 300 for a six day, five night hotel. Just a really great way for you to enjoy one of our incentive trips. So a big plug to National Day Calendar, celebrate every single day and it's National Waffle Week. And today is Eat Outside Day. And also, woo we have Luke in the studio and we're celebrating National Tailgate Day here in a few days. So tell my audience a little backstory and then we'll go into your challenge. Yeah, first of all, thanks for having me on the show and welcome everyone. So obviously I'm very passionate about tailgating. National Tailgating Day is this Saturday, September the 3rd. It's always the first Saturday of September because that aligns like right with college football, one of my favorite times of the year. So like, <laughs> A lot of people ask me, like, how did, like, this day come about? How did you get behind it, supported and everything? So, like, I founded Tailgating Challenge uh, almost 10 years ago. It'd be 10 years in October that I've been uh, just doing the, the tailgating hustle and sharing the love of tailgating with uh, followers across the nation. And I remember it was, like, in 2016. And I was sitting around. I was like, okay, there's like, a, there's, like, a national day for so many things. I was like, okay, I need to find when National Tailgating Day is. And to my surprise, there was not a national tailgating day. And so I knew right then wow. I must do something about that. And so that's when I got in contact with National Day Calendar. We went through all the paperwork and everything and got it set up. And so uh, just continuing to celebrate ever since 2016 with National Tailgating Day. So excited uh, to again sh share the story and passion and see how people tailgate here in 2026. So let's talk a little further. I'm down on the National Day Calendar page here for National Tailgating Day. So let's uh, talk a little bit more about the history. Oh, okay, yeah, so, so you're saying like the history of how, how it was founded? Yes. Okay, sure. Um, so again, like went, went through the, the protocol with everything, we got it set up. And so, and I was like super excited. It's still like, I've done a lot of unique things in the 10 years of tailgating challenge. This is still like, one of the things I'm most proud about because like one of the reasons I'm so passionate about tailgate is it's been a big part of my life since I was a kid growing up in South Carolina, the University of South Carolina and doing the tailgates out there as a kid and then going to school there and then after school there going to pretty much every every tailgating event. And so I just have the memories of just connecting with friends and family on a different level. And I feel like that's more important than ever in the world we live in today, especially kind of coming out of the pandemic and also with smart devices, right? Like I get like, I, I have a phone, I'm on social media, I, I do all this stuff, but sometimes having those connections like at a tailgate, people yes. are putting their phones down, they're grilling, they're talking, they're playing games and they're connecting on a different level. And I think that's important for, for me. I think it's important for a lot of our society to do more of that. And so having having a day surrounding that doesn't mean that's the only day to go tailgating, but like having that day, I think it brings more awareness to it and it helps get people outside like, you know what? I am gonna go. I am gonna go with my friends to go tailgate. I'm gonna invite some more friends to come tailgate with me. So maybe that helps, 
inspire other passion amongst uh, soon to be tailgaters that are going to be doing more of that as well too. So let's talk about food because food and drink brings our friends together and that's how another way to celebrate every day. So what are some of your favorite dishes for your tailgate parties? So I, I'm going to give like a, an older story, like when I first started tailgating, long before tailgating challenge and national tailgating day, but uh, being, being a poor college kid, like we would go to the tailgate, we would uh, go to Subway, we'd get a foot long sub and we'd get a case of beer, right? And that would literally be like, and we were totally, totally happy. There's nothing wrong with that. And so, but, but I smile kind of looking back like what it what it was to now like what it's become like you know bringing a grill to the game like bringing different types of meat like being able to cook things that people want and share them being able there's there's even portable bars and different bar tools that are made for tailgating so wow. if, if you want more than just like a canned beverage like you can actually set up a small bar there and it's not as labor intensive as what it used to be so it's, it's evolved so much and in some like in testing like products, because one of the things that I'm big on is testing products that I can share with our with our fans so that they can know like what, what's legit, what's fun, what's going to increase my level of fun at the tailgate. And so many of these products are helping the food and drink just become easier and just have, I call it a craft style to tailgating versus maybe how I used to do it, which is still okay. Not, not knocking anybody out there with subways. Well, I want to talk about some of my favorite dishes for or barbecue. So it'd probably be the same for tailgating. Of course, the s'mores. Um, I, I make a killer watermelon salsa, and of course, tri tip. Uh, what are your favorites? Um, well, first, I'd like to have all of those you just mentioned. So please feel free to invite me to your next tailgating. <laughs> have some of that. Um, I mean, I'm still a, a, a classic purist. Like I think, like like hamburgers, like loaded up with like a hamburger bar. Um, having brats or hot dogs, like, and I know Ooh, that may sound like, yeah. like basic, but I think if you do it, they even have like all these different types of brats, or, like beer infused and everything else now yes. that I've, I've mm -hmm. been testing. And so I think you can really have it. So you can have everything from even the, the vegan options, because I know that's becoming more popular. So you can have everything from that to beer infused stuff to, yeah, to gluten free buffalo. buns. That's available too at Trader Joe's. Yeah, I don't know in your area if you have a Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. So that's an option for people who are gluten-free as well. I'm all about the jalapeno brats with the oh, sauerkraut. Yeah. Woo! yeah. There, there's so many good options. And I'll say like one of my favorites, since you're talking about buns, one of my favorite buns that I've had is the King's Hawaiian, like the pretzel Oh, buns. oh yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> killer, that's oh, killer. Yeah, so, yeah like, and that's yeah. how you can make it different. Like fr from the buns to the type of meats, like some people think like, oh, look, it's a hamburger and hot dog. That sounds like cliche, but it's like, you can really take it next level with some of yeah. the unique things. That different that cheeses, out. you know, Yeah. Um, Gouda cheese actually is really good on a burger because oh, yeah. it's creamy like mayonnaise and it has a nice taste to it. So I would recommend the Gouda cheese. Oh, and the onion strings, you gotta have that, onion right? straws, strings, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's like you could have like the bar, right? Like you have a bar for your cocktails. Why not have a bar essentially like for your for your hamburgers or for your hot dogs? Buffet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So we have about ten minutes left. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to touch on for people to have this as the ultimate bucket list for Saturday on how they could just get people together through food and drink? How about some of your favorite beers and also some of Oh, what is your favorite football team? All right. So uh, again, University of South Carolina. So I am a fighting Gamecock. So that is my college team. Uh, 49ers, San Francisco 49ers are my NFL team. So I'm always, I've been been riding with them since as a kid and will continue to do that. I'm a, I'm a loyal guy. Um, as far as beers, like I am the type of guy that I don't stick with one beer. And what I mean by that is like, I like to experience craft beer at its finest. Oh, and like yeah. I have... Like in my house, I have multiple beer fridges here filled with different ones. And so rare, sometimes I'll buy, buy similar beers, but I'm looking for those different things and, be, and just have a cooler filled with different offerings for people. Because a lot of people like have even preconceived notions of that saying, oh, an IPA is not good. Well, the IPA, there's so many different types of IPAs out there. They're like, mm -hmm. there's ones that are super hoppy, super piney, yes. super smooth. And so it's like, you can help people experience that and open their minds up to some of those different things too. I think a lot of people, when they first try an IPA, they automatically choose a super hoppy one. 
yeah. they should probably start with a milder one and work their way up because the hops can be overpowering at times, you know, but yeah. try them all. The Pilsner's good. So my friend Jennifer Rich, yeah, good friend of mine there here in, well, in SoCal. I'm in Las Vegas today, but um, good friend of mine from Southern California. And she says, bacon wrap dogs. Yum. Oh, what do you think about that? Have you done any bacon wrap stuff like scallops I mean, or shrimp or anything like that? Like you can't go wrong with bacon wrapped, right? So it's like you can take anything that's average, you can wrap it in a bacon, all of a sudden it's like the best thing you've ever put in your mouth out there. So it's like a bacon wrapped chicken. I mean, heck, at this point, I'm thinking we, if you're doing bacon wrapped hot dogs, you might as well do bacon wrapped burgers. I don't know if I've ever seen right? that. Right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I made some of those. <laughs> um, the thick cut smoked bacon, yeah. wrapped them, cooked mm. the burgers. We like our burgers medium, medium rare. So it was. If you don't like your burgers that way, I'd recommend cooking them a little bit, then doing the wrapping. Mm -hmm. But the bacon yeah. wrap burgers are delicious. Yeah, so that sounds like it's going to be on my bucket list to try and make some here soon, too, at a tailgate. Well, let's talk about fruit. Um, one of my favorite fruits is peaches, and you could actually barbecue a peach in half yep. and then put mascarpone cheese on right in the you, top. You, you can really barbecue yum. pineapples. Ooh, pineapple's good, too. Papayas. Yeah. I mean, bananas, you can do all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Plantains. Plantains. How about you, Luke? What, what are your favorite barbecue fruits? So pi pineapple, as she mentioned, is going to be my, my favorite. I've heard of people like grilling watermelon. Like I haven't tried it, so I can't knock it, but I just feel like. I don't like, know if I would do that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm like, I, I like my watermelon but <laughs> they each their own. So I think you have to stick with the watermelon salsa. That'll work. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So I don't I don't see as much fruit on grills at tailgates, but it doesn't mean there won't be a trend that can start happening soon. Yes. So we have a few more minutes, about five more minutes. Um, anything else you would like to touch on? Well, let's ask Amy first. So we have National Bacon Day coming up. Isn't that in December? I believe it's in December. Yeah. Yes. Um, this coming month, there's quite a few um, child awareness days, and I like to bring attention to those. I believe in the safety of children. I believe in interacting with children. I believe yes. in then teaching them new experiences. Um, but we also have to pay attention to those not so fun things like child abuse, child neglect, um, child illnesses. Um, I invite everybody to check out our weeks and months for the month of September and, you know, see if you can find an organization to volunteer with or yeah. even volunteer your time. Um, monetary donations are always nice, but I think hands-on, you know, is, is a lot more personable. Oh, just came to me. Volunteer to have a tailgate party with a bunch of kids after school or after a local football game. There you go. Um, yeah, just, uh, other than that, there's a lot of good food days. Um, we have sourdough month coming up. Um, National cheeseburger day in a couple Cheeseburger days. days coming up. Yeah. Um, we have chicken month. It's chicken mm -hmm. month, whether you like fried, grilled, or all of the above. Potato month. Potato month. Um, a lot of food days coming up. It's fall's coming around the corner, so we got that comfort food coming out now. So, you know, plan a menu, have a tailgate party, yeah. do something fun. All about fun, all about fun. And tailgating is fun. And so, one of the things, too, is that each year for National Tailgating Day, in advance of it, I test product all year, right? And so, I find my top 10 products for for National Tailgating Day, that people can get go out there to have a little more fun with it. And so uh, last week, I put out the top 10 products, uh, everything from a giant, like literally giant tailgating chair that you almost have to like jump into. I uh, had six <laughs> cup holders, a built-in cooler. It's pretty awesome to like different tailgating fans, margarita makers, uh, tailgating games. So there's a lot of different things out there. And I do 10 different ones every year because I want, there's so many different products coming out that I don't want to set, because some of them can make the list every year, but that's not how I want to do it. I want to have different stuff that we're showing off for our fans. And the fun part too, is that we test stuff. And then every week we do giveaways, right? So we're giving away to our fans some of the, some of the fun stuff that we get to test out here on a weekly basis. So of course, um, as you mentioned, uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, yeah. YouTube, and all that good stuff. Cause we're going to, why don't you stuff. send me the link where your list is and I'll throw it up on your page so people can go there and visit and see what your yeah. pick is for sure. the year. You know, it's, it's a great way to get interaction and um, get you some shout outs and maybe a little bit more entrance. And it's always nice to have more followers. 
Yep, I will uh, get that over to you again. It's just uh, it's always unique products. A lot of people tell me like, Luke, I didn't know that was even a thing until yeah. I saw it in the tailgating challenge, which is always always fun to hear. That is true. You you gave away when you had your um your live with Chris and Doug. Yep. You gave oh, away fun. some fire thing. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> Yeah, so that was the the Bernie grill. So it's a small, small. I don't have it in studio with me. Right yeah, now, it's a small grill and it's all wood. So it's like it's easy oh, to light, wow. it's portable. It's less than fifteen bucks and it has amazing smoke flavor and it burns down to nothing. So it's just and it was amazing because I thought that's like genius to take anywhere, take it to a tailgating party, a camping trip, right. grab a couple of those for the weekend. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was like, I really need one of those in my supplies. <laughs> Yeah, spoiler alert, we're going to be doing a giveaway with them and some other food companies next week. So stay tuned. Nice. Oh, very cool. Well, since you're a 49er fan, um, I'm going to tell a little story and then we'll go to the end of the podcast. Um, I originally grew up in Northern California and okay. um, several years before, it was about six years before Dwight Clark passed away, um, one of my client's sons was uh, dealing with cancer treatment in uh, San Francisco at the university there, at the, at the um, hospital. And so they needed a little extra help um, with funds and everything for their child's care. I'm like, you know what, why don't I do a Christmas in July? I said, well, Dwight Clark was my 80s crush and <laughs> your son loves the 49ers, so hey, you know, this will be a really amazing event. And literally, it was the most amazing thing I've done in my entire 57 years of living. I mean, to to have Dwight Clark there and just larger than life personality, amazing. And the, the kid didn't even know who Dwight Clark was, because at that time, I think he was like eight or nine years old, you know. And but just to have a 49er there, just to see his face light up. But it was so amazing to be in his space and him and his wife came all the way from Santa Cruz down to Sacramento. Nice. And yeah, he was an amazing individual. So the catch, the most the famous catch. play out there on the, on the planet. So, so were you a fan back in the eighties as well? Well, I was born in the eighties. So I was probably just a oh. little, I was a tiny fan. Um, oh. back, back then, but, <laughs> yeah. I mean, J Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, Steve Young is what attracted me as, as a child. And then I've just latched on ever, ever since. So the, oh, the, the catch cool. will live on far past any of us on this call today. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yes. So tell us quickly, um, how to participate in the challenge. All right, so the challenge I'm going to put out to everyone is that on September 3rd, which is this Saturday, to go out to tailgate. Even Woo. if you, some people say, I can't make it to the tailgate. Look, that's okay. Let's do a home gating party where you bring mm -hmm. the tailgating elements to your house, invite friends over, have fun. Of course, like tag National Tailgating Day on there with a the hashtag so we can, everyone can see how you're celebrating the fun day with however you do it. Because I love seeing how different people celebrate tailgating. Yes. And make sure, actually, you could, if you hashtag Bucklist Coach Web Show and also National Day Calendar, um, I'll throw in a three night hotel so you can stay here in Las Vegas or New Orleans. So mm -hmm. I'll throw that in too if people want to partake in that challenge. Boom. Double challenge. Double challenge. Exactly. <laughs> so at the end of the show, I always like to talk about how we pay it forward. Um, so Amy, go first. What random act of kindness are you going to perform? And it's actually um, Common Courtesy Month. So what would you do you know, here in the next couple of days? Every day, I, I, I do something nice for somebody every day, whether it be um, somebody that I know or a stranger. Um, a lot of times it's just a simple compliment. And I have a tendency to gravitate towards people who seem very awkward or shy um, so saying something nice to them could be the last thing that they yeah. hear, you know, and, and so I always like to make people feel good. Um, this year for gratitude month, I'm going to pick something to do every single day and I plan on documenting it. I'm not going to share names with people. I'm just going to do private things. Um, I have a lot of friends on social media and, I'll, you know, I'll, I know a lot of people. So every day somebody's going to get something from me, whether it be a note or a trinket or a gift certificate. I'm going to do something for everybody. Um, and one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a collection of the books my grandkids don't read anymore. And I'm going to bring them over to the hospital for their, their peed ward. Yeah. And, and we do that every year. You know, we donate clothes and, and books and, and toys. This year, it's going to be books. And that's for the month of November is National Gratitude. Month. Yes, it's for the month of November. Luke. 
No, this is, I didn't even have this planned. And so, but this is something I'm, I'm a big believer in, in kindness and like trying to reduce hate and help elevate people that need to have a voice. And so I have our motto here. And I wanted just to show this on there. Don't hate, just tailgate. Because the world's a better place. If I, I love it. that. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it's a, it's a great, great tie in because, yeah. again, I'm a true believer that I, I want everyone to be lifted up, to have a voice, yeah. to feel seen yeah. and valued. And I feel like at a tailgate, outside of maybe just some of the rivalries between the teams, like, People see the Rams. Woo! Yeah, okay, so, so well, don't hate just I'm, I'm stoked the Raiders moved to Vegas. I don't live here, <laughs> but I can see them more often. Uh, but I'm sorry. I am a Raiders fan and a little bit of a Vikings fan just because it's close to home. <laughs> that is cool. So where can we get one of them? Uh, this was this was custom made. Uh, I mean, for oh. you see, a bigheadcustoms.com is who made this for me. So I love that. Yes. Don't hate tailgate. I love it. That's so amazing. Well, definitely you'll have to come on during the football season. We could do some really cool stuff together. I, I would love you back on. For sure. No, I, I appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody for watching and uh, getting out there and going tailgating this weekend and every weekend moving forward this football season. Yes. Thank you again for exactly. letting me visit with you. It's always a pleasure. You're such a fun guy. I mean, you, yeah. What I love about you the most is that you're so upbeat and you're so willing to just share everything. Yeah. You know, you're giving ideas, you're giving positive vibes. And that's yeah. something that, like you said, everybody in the world needs. Agreed, agreed. And that's how this is not just for this show. This is how I live my life everywhere I go. And so I, I appreciate the kind words. And hopefully if it made one person smile or feel better about anything, then I've done my job today. You've done your job. Exactly. That is correct. Exactly. So I'm going to pop you in the green room if you want to hang tight while we close out. We'll chat for a few. Right. Thank you. So make sure that you go to this YouTube channel. You're going to subscribe, comment, and share our Buckless Coach web show live. And you'll get that five-night hotel stay. If you partake in the challenge that we talked about earlier, I'll give away a three-night hotel stay. So decide, do you want a five-night or a three-night? And make sure that you download the National Day Calendar app. You could also become an ambassador. You just scroll to the bottom of the nationaldaycalendar.com website. And you could fill out the information there. It's a really great way to get in front of media, to grow your brand, and live every single day by celebrating every day. Anything you'd like to add before we close out? No, just I'm so happy that we're hanging out. This is the first time Woo. Cindy and I have actually met in person. Um, we're really enjoying ourselves, and it we're going to do it again, but this time probably in California. All right, guys. Shaka, and this is the last podcast until October I have a book coming out that actually half of the book is all about National Day Calendar and how to utilize the National Day Calendar to grow your brand, love on your clients and your family and friends. Shaka, baby. Woohoo!